Hello everybody, this is C4 Explorer, and today I've managed to infiltrate an abandoned hospital. Um, this is going to be a risky one, I don't know how long it's going to be. Um, I'm just going to start kind of panning around, you can see the structure here. There's another gurney over there. Um, basically, without revealing a bunch of location details, um, I've made another trip. Last week I attempted a hospital, and I mean, even infiltration was trickier than hell, and uh, I couldn't do it, so I decided to come back. Discovered that uh, I actually saw like I mean I'm glad that it validated um, what I was suspecting, but um, I actually saw a vehicle sitting there, and I kind of sat there for a while, and nothing moved, nobody moved, nobody said nothing, and then um, I was kind of chilling out and relaxing, um, not too far away this old medical equipment this is so awesome um, anyway and I saw a truck drive by on the property which validated that they definitely had security and it was a good thing I didn't try to infiltrate so I decided to do the slightly easier but probably like could have been a lot harder way once again I don't want to give out too many details um, you know, just, I mean, you can see how, like, pretty pristine this site is as far as, like, not much vandalism. Um, this is awesome. But anyway, um, I've, I found one of the other buildings that's basically on an active property. And uh, they had it pretty well sealed up as far as, like, the big fence around it. But, let's see for Explorer. Um, he finds a way. Hopefully he doesn't find a way to get arrested. Um, <laughs> kind of kidding, but not really. Um, so yeah, this year you see these, these old barber chairs. Or uh, hair dryers kind of things. Uh, like I said, I have no idea how much time I have in here. And of course I want to walk around and take pictures. I mean, like this, I wouldn't even expect in this. Oh, wow. Mr. Uh, um, crap, I, I, I just forgot the guy's name. Wow. Um, AC, I'm really sorry, dude. I, I want to give your channel a shout out, but I just totally forgot. Uh, Abandoned Central, Abandoned Central, that's right, um, has apparently been here. And that, that uh, sticker says uh, B Word lives on uh, in honor of his. Uh, I, I can't remember if it's girlfriend or wife that uh, passed away while exploring um, quite a long time ago. And he, he wants to commemorate her name. B Word lives on. Um, I didn't know her or him either personally. But uh, my condolences. And I'm really sorry, I forgot your name for a second. I just totally blanked on it. As you can see, this isn't a normal explorer. I mean, it kind of is. I'm kind of goofy when it comes to doing exploring, but um, I, I just kind of want to take all this in. And I mean, really, I'm not sure. I saw one camera nearby that, um, but it was definitely an active camera. I'll put it that way, but I don't know where it was aimed. Oh, we got an old an adding machine or an old calculator. I'm going to try to use my light as little as possible. Oh, wow. I was walking around this place for like, around it, literally around the outside for like 15 minutes. And I saw a couple cars drive by and I'm like, are these guys security? I know I saw the truck that, that I saw at the other um, hospital ward. Uh, by the way, I want to mention that... This ward, 
I think it was the women's ward, and the other one that I was trying to get into was the men's ward. Uh, I could have those switched up, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, I kept debating, and then I looked in this room here from outside, and I was like, holy crap, like, I can't believe I gotta miss this, but we're here. I think I'm pretty... I know this this building next door is active because it's or at least it has power on. Um, I was looking real hard to see um, if there were any people. You know, of course you got some guy skulking, walking up and down a fence line in front of an abandoned building for fifteen minutes. Yeah, you're going to ask questions, as rightly you should, but. Um, I didn't see anybody. I, I saw like two, three cars oh, pass by me. This is so cool, these dental chairs. This is so awesome. Wow. I cannot believe I made it in here. I have another location I want to go to while I'm in this state. Um, and I was like, man, I, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I can get into that one. But I was like, man, I was so pissed when I was walking back from the other hospital. I'm just like, geez, I just drove all the way up here. I am dead tired, y'all. Um, sorry, I know I'm like really joggly. I just want you guys to get a good view of everything as much as possible. I think that might have been an antique uh, yeah, x-ray machine. I said I really want to be careful because this building that you see in the distance right over there like I said it has power on I didn't see anybody but that doesn't mean anything um, I'm, I'm pretty sure like I know this campus is pretty well active um, but yeah I'm really glad I got in here and I don't know what other surprises there are I hope I didn't show you the best um, <laughs> at first but hey you know what seeing it at all it's a miracle, so. God, this is so beautiful. Oh, check it out, my biggest fan. Yeah, I can still do corny humor when I'm kind of like almost having a panic attack. <laughs> um, oh, wow, we still have, we have another medical scale. Um, I believe this hospital try to give you some history here. I believe it was tuberculosis sanatorium uh, when it first opened. Um, and of course, you know, they uh, believed in before they actually <laughs> discovered that they could cure tuberculosis or at least treat it. They believed that wide open spaces and, you know, lots of trees and, uh, you know, humidity and all that kind of stuff would actually treat tuberculosis it would definitely uh, so they thought would aid in um, you know like it would it would ease the symptoms of these people that had to suffer through it we got a bathtub this is so cool I, I'm not gonna be happy with this video I'm telling y'all I'm gonna get home I'm gonna watch this and be like Damn, I should should have done better. <laughs> um, but I'm not coming back again. Hi, folks. I might come back someday. I don't know. But um, like I said, I'm taking a pretty good size risk. Funny thing is, is there's really no no trespassing signs anywhere. You know. Um. I mean, there are in a few places, but, like, on the fence, there isn't. I think these may have been centrifuges. They kind of look like kennels, and it's possible that they were. Um, that looks like the where you would have put the, the spinny thing with the vials. <laughs> More of those technical terms. we got a hospital bed here. I said, guys, I'm really sorry it's so dark. I mean, it's I, I'm really happy to have this natural sunlight or what sun, what daylight I have. Wowie, that is so cool. 
I don't even know what that is. Is that a, a mimeograph machine? It uh, predates the uh, copier. Oh, what is this? Is that is that an X-ray? Let's look at the control panels here. DC General. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it says General Electric X-ray uh, Corporation. I want to give a shout out to my boss. I don't, I'm not going to name her. Um, but, and you need to, you need to watch my channel. Boss of mine. <laughs> a really cool person. Um, I just want you to know that, yes, urban exploring is hard to, like, be safe. But I am being as safe as possible. Got an elevator here. Save for my weekend, and I guarantee you, if I get too tired, oh, stairs. If I get too tired throughout the day or on the drive home, um, I promise I will stop and, you know, take, oh, wow, this is a tall building. I had no idea it was that tall. Oh, wow, I'm like a kid in an abandoned candy store old medical equipment from like the 40s or something see there's another part of the building you know we got to go in the basement if it ain't flooded oh my god that is like the creepiest thing i sound like a little schoolgirl, don't i i'm sorry y'all okay i'm not sorry i mean i pulled this off <laughs> as long as i don't have a cop car or a tow truck waiting by my car when i get out of here we're gonna call it a good day Wonder if they had a morgue down here. Oh, uh, well, I guess some of the taggers made it. You got the creepy lonely chair. This is um it looks like maintenance for the most part. Yeah, this is Oh, is this the tunnels? I've heard there are tunnels here, but um, oh my god. Oh wow. There's light there. Shit. We're gonna have to be, I'm, I'm not even going down there, guys. That's legit, like, that's power. This part of this building is power. I guess if they, if they were going to hear me, they'd have heard me by now, but, or maybe not. Still going to stealth mode, whispering. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's daylight up there. I'm going to get out of this basement, though. It's really cool looking, but. Yeah, that goes way over there. God, I'd love to explore those tunnels. We're gonna go back upstairs. I mean, it is a Saturday, so. The odds of somebody being here are slim to none, but not non existent. Okay. Jeez, okay. Just because you're aware of them doesn't mean they're aware of you. Because you discovered something like that doesn't necessarily mean that all of a sudden you're on somebody's watch list. But it pays to be careful, folks. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, you probably can't see it.
creepy people in the comments that say, that's a lobotomy chair, and you know what, maybe it is, I don't know, I really don't know, but it's a cool examination chair, might have had stirrups, might, might have been, it says, I can't read that, oh, and, and my reaction here is not going to go, oh, wow, okay, this floor I think is made of wood, and that is bubbled up, shit, I might, okay, the ceiling doesn't look bad, Look at this wheelchair, folks. It's not quite as antiquated as I thought it was, but... Oh my god, this is beautiful. Sorry, guys. Wow. Oh, big hydrotherapy tub. Look at that. Stupid vandalism. Okay, I, I keep telling you to look at the wheelchair, and I don't point it at the camera. Or point the camera at it. Oh yeah, this is wooden flooring. I gotta be really careful. Look at that oven over there. That's um, it's like maybe what, 40s or 50s? I'm not entirely sure when this place closed. Oh, wow. Wow. I mean, you guys can't see the camera. What's in front of me or what's on the side to side yet? But this is what I'm reacting to. Holy crap. Look at that floor. It feels feels pretty solid. Feeling solid isn't solid. Oh, look at that bed. Holy crap, Nick. Oh my god, this place is so awesome. <laughs> you come over here. You're not going to be able to see that very well. Hold on. Okay. We have examination light. We've got old bottles of various, I don't know what, what they are, and I'm not wearing gloves, so I don't really want to touch them. I don't know exactly what that is. that pediatric crib and there's another light over here holy crap you guys I think we kind of found a mother load we found a, a great location I'm gonna take like 8,000 pictures and I'm gonna get home and be like why didn't I take any damn pictures Sorry if I'm moving the camera too fast. Okay, see the thing is, is I thought this setup in front of us was in the other building. And maybe there is something in the other building. Um, I know that there should be like a lot of outdated medical stuff in that other building as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> we got crutches. Surgical light, peely overgrowth, can't really see that too well. I don't know what this is, I have no idea. Uh, of course, you know, y'all leave it in the comments if you know. This here looks like a, probably like pre gomco uh, fluid. Fluid uh, suction device. I'm hearing a beep. Why is there a beep? Is the camera picking that up? I don't see anybody outside. Can you guys hear that? I'm not trying to play 
scary drama ghost hunter. No offense to paranormals. Seriously, like, there's a friggin' beep. Oh my god. And yet I keep going up. Why, folks? Because I want to give you as much as I can. That beep is coming from over here somewhere. It's not like a smoke alarm beep. Anybody. I don't hear footsteps. I don't think it was a bird. I mean, sometimes you know, birds sound like electronic equipment. It's like a beep, wah, beep, wah. I just said it wasn't any. Smoke detector. Oh dear God. That is so awesome. Holy crap. Okay, we'll, we'll get to that. God. Yeah, I don't know what that sound was. But, I mean, obviously, those kind of sounds make me really, really nervous. There's fresh footprints are definitely not mine. So, I mean, it, it's terrifying but comforting at the same time because it means that other people have explored here. But they might also be sitting in jail. Look at this wheelchair. Holy crap. Does anybody remember the episode of The Office where Dwight took Ryan out to to a sales call and he went into the barn with him and he made Ryan sit in the wheelchair like <laughs> that's what it looks like that's what it reminds me of okay okay that says patient bath I mean, I don't want to run like a passive-aggressive guilt trip or anything, but God, you guys, I'm trying, and I really, really hope you enjoy this video. I hope it comes out good. Like I said, this is this is my, I mean, it's one of those, you know, it's either going to be finished or not. We're looking down an elevator shaft. I mean, this is about as good as it's going to get, um, unless I, you know, of course, happen to come back someday, but... Um, if I have to, I'll do a part two. I keep going up, knowing that that could be anything. I don't hear that beeping no more, though. Probably because they they said, I don't know who's in that building, but we can hear them complaining about our beeping. <laughs> turn off the beeper, turn off the beeper. <laughs> Patient's clothes room. Off the bed frame. Wow. I'll tell you, it was really funny. I mean, of course, I, I tend to go the hard way with a lot of things. Uh, when it comes to exploring, you know, trying to do the most stealthy, most... Um, um, what, what's that word? Innocuous and hidden way to um, infiltrate. Shit, there's that beeping sound again. 
You know what? I bet I know what it is. It's something creaking. A blind or something. Oh my god, hospital bed city. Oh, saggy floor. I don't like that. Look at that, man. Yeah. Anyway, um, I knew that the active part of the property had a security gate, and I, I don't know, I didn't know, like, I mean, do they make you not come in? Do you have to sign something? What do you got to do? I drove up, and I mean, I'm, a, I'm kind of a dork when it comes to new places. I had no idea where, where to go, and I kind of, like, went up to the wrong gate, and the guy's like, pull over here, and I'm like, oh, crap, he's going to yell at me. I just pretend like I'm lost. And, uh, he, uh, he, he, he just opened up the gate, said, go on in, sir. I'm like, thank you very much. <laughs> wow, this is like the awesomest thing in the whole world. Look at that. That is freaking magical. I'm going to break into song. Okay, I'm not going to do that, I promise. <laughs> I think my buddy Wells might have actually been here. I, I'm pretty sure I saw pictures of uh, from one of his trips. Wherever you are, Wells. I know I haven't uploaded in a while, but and I haven't contacted you because I lost your number and um yeah, I lost. Your, I'm 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 like going nuts with all this stuff here. Anyways, uh, man, I hope you're doing good. And I would love to go back out exploring with you someday. I hope you're doing well, man. I, I, I see you on uh, Snapchat all the time with your uh, your travels. And, and people... Wells is like a friggin' crocodile hunter, seriously. He's got so many. Um, oh, that's troubling. He's got so many videos of, like, he'll save turtles off the road. And, you know, he'll, oh, he'll go pick up snakes and usually doesn't get bit. I mean, he, I mean, any animal. I mean, like, he's just, he's like freaking Dr. Doolittle or something. Oh, we have rooftop access. Roofy roof. Now you know we got to do a down down shot view. Oh wow! Oh. oh dear God! There's that camera I was telling you about, right on the corner of that building, right in front of us. I highly doubt it can see me, but you know why wave at it? So I'm not gonna go out on the roof, guys. Sorry. Oh wow! Okay, we've pretty much seen this entire place. what I'm gonna do. I'll be right back folks. All right folks. Sorry about that. I decided I really wanted to show off the cool staircase at the downward angle. The one that doesn't look all modernized and stuff. Isn't that beautiful? I'll tell you what guys. I'm starting to hear some weird sounds. I heard something that sounded like people chatting. I can still hear it. And I heard something that sounded like somebody going, ooh, or something. You know, like when you're really hot, you're like, ooh, wow, it's a hot day. I sound kind of like that. Please let it be other explorers. I, um, okay, yeah, this is the rooftop here. Or, well, sort of. Look at this. Isn't that cool? Please, if there's anybody else here, please be explorers and please don't be hostile. Because I'm going to spend the rest of my time. Oh, I'm going to sign off because this is about to go to 30 minutes and it's probably going to cut off. So, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Um. I don't know if it actually did cut in two videos or not. Um.
I think it does after 30 minutes, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to do a little better of a, an outro. And, um, you know, <laughs> you either get what you get or you get this as well. Um, I want to, I want to thank y'all for watching. Um, you know, I appreciate your comments and your subscriptions and everything. And, um, I'm going to try to post more when I can, uh, you know, of course I'm pretty busy with work and stuff and whatever, but I really hope this is a, a good, you know, make, make up for, you know, cause I know I've missed a lot y'all. So anyway, thank y'all again. I hope you have a wonderful time, wonderful day. Stay safe out there. This is C4 Explorer and an abandoned tuberculosis sanatorium. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.